so that is about Elliott wave theory. Now we will see Japanese candlestick chart, Japanese candlestick chart, one more theory write down which is nowadays very popular is called candlestick chart or you can write Japanese candlestick chart. Why it is called candlestick chart? Because, because the diagram looks like a candlestick and what is the special feature of this that they will show you a candle and from this candle you get four information about the price movement for a period. So, they will show you opening price, closing price, lowest price and highest price. So, if you look at yesterday's candlestick chart, you will know yesterday what was the closing price, what was the opening price, what is the highest price, lowest price and based on that, you will get an idea about how the market is performing. If suppose, just look at it, then I will dictate. The opening price is higher than the closing price. The opening price is higher than the closing price. It means the uh, market had a falling trend. The market had a falling trend and therefore, the closing was lower than the opening and it is possible for some time, the market might have reached a highest price and then it might have reached the lowest, lowest price. If a closing price is lower than the opening price, it is a falling trend. Ultimately, the selling pressure was more than the buying and the market closed below the opening. Generally, if the closing price is below the opening, the color of this candle will be either red or black. And reverse of this, if the market is uh, closing at a higher price than the opening price, the color is green indicating the market today has gone up and by a small line which looks like that candle thing, it shows the highest price and it shows the lowest price. So, you will find on the television screen sometimes there are many candlesticks appearing and that helps you to understand how the prices have moved. So, it gives you four information, opening, closing, highest, lowest and the length of this candle will depend on the gap between opening, closing, highest and lowest. So, maybe sometime you will find a candle like this also, which means the gap between opening and closing is not much, but the market was really volatile. So, the highest and lowest price has a huge difference. There can be a candle like this also. This means opening and closing both were equal. So, only one line here. The candle can be like this also, okay, like an ice cream. It means this, let us say closing price and maximum price was the same or it can be like this also. It means opening price and the lowest price is same, opening price and lowest price is same. So, I will dictate all this now and <clears throat> this is quite interesting to understand how during a period the market has behaved. You can draw candlestick for one hour also, one day also, one month also and accordingly you can interpret. So, now you are ready to write. Consist of a body, consist of a body, an upper shadow and a lower shadow. If you look at the diagram, this is the body, upper shadow lower shadow. In this type of chart, in this type of chart, the opening and closing price, the opening and closing price are shown as the body of the candle. 
are shown as the body of the candle. In bracket a rectangular box, a rectangular box, a vertical line is drawn from the level, a vertical line is drawn from the level of the highest price of the day to the upper side of the rectangular box, to the upper side of the rectangular box. A vertical line is drawn from the level of the highest price of the day to the upper side of the rectangular box. So, if the market price is high, then opening or the closing here, then this point indicates what was the highest price the market touched during the day or the period for which we are preparing this candlestick chart. Next line. Another vertical line, they are talking about this, another vertical line is drawn from the level of lowest price of the day, of the day to the lower side of the rectangular box, to the lower side of the rectangular box, to the lower side of the rectangular box. So, this is how the candlestick chart is drawn. So, if I give you for example, the opening price is 100, closing price is 120, the lowest price was 95 during the day and the highest price was 125. So, first we have to think whether I need to draw a green candle or a red candle. So, it will be a green candle because closing price is more. So, this line here will represent 120 rupees, this point will represent 125, this opening price 100 rupees and the lowest price during the day was 95. So, that is how the candlestick. Now, it is softwares are programmed. So, automatically they take the data from the stock exchange and they prepare the candles automatically with the help of uh, softwares. But we as a student, we have to learn how they are drawn. So, first you draw these two uh, popular candles. The first one, red one which indicates that the closing price was lower than the opening price, means there was a selling pressure in the market today. Market closed below the opening price. So, there is a there was a bear trend in the market, even though for some time there may be a price which was higher than the opening price, but ultimately it closed below the opening price. So, bearish trend. Then draw the second one, a green candle, opening, closing. So, if the closing is more, showing a bull trend, price is rising. This also you can mark here highest price and this also you can mark here lowest price. This is normally you will see in most of the uh, news channels, this candlestick. Now, right there are three types of candlestick from the point of view of technical analysis. There are three types of candlesticks from the point of view of technical analysis. White, which normally you will find green, black, in bracket right red. red and dozy. So, what is dozy? In case of dozy, the opening and closing prices are same. Write a note below, the first type is drawn when the closing price is more than the opening price. The first type is drawn when the closing price is more than the opening price. 
So, here there is a closing price which we have drawn and you have opening price here. So, you can just simultaneously draw it also to understand and it will normally be white or green. Then second type write down, second type write down, the second type is drawn when the opening price is more than the closing price, when the opening price is more than the closing price. This also we have drawn. Market has closed below opening price. So, today there were selling pressure or bearish trend. So, it can be in black. If you have a black pen or a red pen. Okay. Then third write down, the third type is drawn when the closing and opening prices are same. So, you draw like this and here only you write down, there is no body because both it will be just one line, closing and opening price, closing and opening price. You have written. Sometime you write one more diagram below. Closing and highest price are same and opening price. So, this is also possible. Closing and highest price are same. Then you draw one more. So, let us see if this is opening price, opening price and lowest price, are same. So, it will have only this one thread. So, where opening price and lowest price are same. So, this is you can mark it as fourth this is fifth. Okay. You want to draw one more? Say yes. Yes. Here you write closing. This is highest. Now write down one next category. this you write in black. When do we write in black? When opening price is more than closing price and second opening and highest price are same. Whatever was the opening price that was the highest price. Market never went above that, but market continued to fall it went down up to this point, but then may be slightly recovered and closed at this point. So, that is called opening and highest prices are same. One more diagram you draw. In black.
closing and lowest price are same this is opening price this is highest price so market opened maybe it has gone little high but then something happened and then this started falling continue to fall till your closing price and lowest prices will be the same and one more which i have visualized myself only this much right where the opening and lowest are same and closing and highest are same closing and highest are same and this last one last combination or whatever i can visualize possible is like this the opening and highest are same and the closing and lowest are same so lot of things i have added from my own understanding so by looking at the candles now you will get an idea what they are trying to say so today you watch the news channel or you see any candlestick chart you will be able to interpret it now whether it was a rising market falling market etc etc how much the market has moved during the day what was the total fluctuation in a day from the lowest to the highest point all this you can see in the candle chart so quite popular with the technical analyst